Hey there, sports fans and car enthusiasts. Welcome to the channel. It's time for another mystery pack, vintage mystery pack indeed, opening here. There are two mystery packs in here that I purchased, oh, I don't know, about a, well, maybe two months ago now. They again have been sitting on my shelf waiting for me to get around to filming these. Uh, these were purported as vintage mystery packs. I have no idea what the quality of these are. I think I spent 35 maybe $40 total on this. Wasn't a whole lot, but uh, kind of excited to hop in and see what we can get out of these, if there's anything good in here. And the Snip Snips are ready to do their work, too. The new Blast from the Past Vintage Card Snip Snips. Let's get into it right now. All right, folks, two vintage mystery packs are in this uh, baggie here. I guess they're how they've been kind of shipped to me. Um, this is how they arrived. So, like I said, I, I took a chance on two of these. I, they, they were around. I, I have to go back and find out exactly how much they are, but I'll try and find the link to how much I paid for it and uh, the link to the eBay store where I got these as well, if anybody's interested in these. But Snip Snips have cut through the tape holding the bag, so now it's time to open the baggie. And we'll pull these out and jump into them one by one. So there's one pack there, and the other pack is here. I think we can throw the bag and the cardboard aside. Uh, which one should we start with? Should we start with the 59 or should we start with the 73? Let's start with the 73. I think that makes sense. So here we go, vintage mystery packs. Opening this up, we'll see if there's any home runs in here. I don't expect huge wins in here, but I do love anything that is vintage mystery. So starting us off with the 73 tops, Rich Hinton from the Rangers. Behind him, we got 74 tops, Pat Bork. After that, another 74 tops, Nelson Bryles. And we got another 74 tops traded. Craig Robinson traded to the Braves. That's pretty cool. And we got, hey, there's a 75 top 74 AL championships from the uh, A's and Orioles. This is game three. That's pretty cool. Got Tom Bradley behind that. We'll set that down and take a look at the back of this one real quick. This is, a, I think, a little ding. Just a little ding. I think that's, uh, what is that on the front? We got Brooks Robinson of the Orioles there. I can't remember who the shortstop is. That it's not Fossey. No, Fossey was a catcher. I can't remember. It does have a little ding there, but I'm gonna still gonna call that a little mini ding. That's pretty cool. We got a 75 tops Tom Bradley behind that. Hey, there's a 75 tops Bill Buckner. That's cool. Not not bad at all. 75 tops Bill Buckner. I think that's another little mini ding for Bill. Again, not super valuable, but, uh, you know, Bill Buckner has a solid place in history. Um, Red Sox fans may not appreciate it, but I, too, as a Mets fan. Speaking of the Mets, here's John Stearns, great catcher with the Mets, 76 tops there. Got another 76 top shortstop, Greg, uh, Chris Spire. After that, we have Bill Butler, pitcher with the Twins, another 76 tops. Looks like we got some 77s here. Steve Hargan. Of the Blue Jays, Brian Downing with those tinted glasses and uh, almost a little wig looking thing he's wearing there. And then we got Dwayne Kuyper with the Indians. We have Seattle Mariners team card, founded 1976. Daryl Johnson, we got Vada Pinson, who's a, one of the pitching coaches there. Don Bryant coach, Jim Busby, pretty cool. Tommy Davis with the Royals is next. And we're moving to some 78s, it looks like. We got Frank Tanana. Larry Milborn. Mike Paxton. I always love this car because it just seems like an airbrushed painting. Or maybe they forgot to finish his hair on this side. And then we got Rick Rushel. Pretty good pitcher with the Cubs then. That is his, yeah, it's not even close to his rookie. Captain America, Steve Rogers after that. We got some 79s here. Mike Parrott, the Mariners. Bob Beal with the Braves. 
Jerry Mumphrey with the Cardinals, Juan Bernhardt with the Mariners, Bake McBride with the Phillies, Sal Bando with the Brewers. We got Rick Monday All-Star card there with the Dodgers. And Tom House with the Mariners wraps up that pack. So that was an interesting pack. Kind of in order. Wonder if maybe these were maybe this was one vintage pack. Now that I'm thinking about it. And that started off like 70s, like 75. So because we got some 72s on the back. I think it's 72. We'll see what we got here. I'm gonna take us all the way back to the 50s. So uh we'll start with the 50s, I guess. 1959 tops Bob Rush with the Milwaukee Braves. That's a pretty cool card. It's nice, not bad condition either. Not a bad card, so. Um, but I think it's just a common there. Although, you know, I'll give it a little mini ding just for being a nice 59. 1960 tops Glenn Hobby with the Cubs. And we're moving to some 63s. Gino Simoli. I don't think I know that name. Oh yeah, there's Roger Craig. He was a decent pitcher. This time here with the Cardinals. Very cool. We got a 65 Ron Hunt. Not a bad card. A 66 Larry Dierker. Is his that's his rookie, isn't it? I think it is. It might be his rookie. I'd have to check. Um not sure if it's a dare or not. If it is. Hit me up in the comments below, tell me it is, or I'll, you know, maybe note it in editing. There's a 67 Joel Hor Horlan. Kind of beat up a little bit there. Oh, we got a strikeout leaders card there. We got uh, American League strikeout leaders with Long, uh, Longborg, McDowell, and Dean Chance. It's a little mini ding on that, so you know, worth a buck or two. We got a Stan Bonson Gold Cup card from 69 Tops. Really beat up, though, on the bottom. John Odom with the Oakland A's. After that, we got 69 rookie stars, Bob Christian and Jerry Nyman, or Gary Nyman. Not a huge hit there. 1970 tops Ed Stroud with the Washington Senators. And we got a Juan Marichal. That's pretty cool. All-star card. Not bad at all. We'll give that a hit. 1970 rookie stars for the Seattle Pilots. Miguel Fuentes and Dick Bainey. That card's beat up, though. Kind of a mess there. And 1970 tops Andy Messersmith. And we got uh, Barry Bonds' father, Bobby Bonds, 1970 tops. That's another nice little hit there. The cards, yeah, a little, some corner dings, but we'll give that a little ding there for that. 1970 tops Bob Watson, Buzz Steffen. With the Seattle Pilots, and we're moving to some 71s here. 1971 Phil Roof. That card's in pretty nice shape. Then Wade Blassing Game. Another not too shabby 1970s card. Mike Corkin. This one's pretty beat up. That side is really rough. And 1970 tops, or 71 tops, Steve Keeley. 72 tops, the eyebrows for days. Andy Eckenbaron. Etchbaron. Sorry, I'm mispronouncing the name. Look at those eyebrows, folks. Wow. Almost looks like they're drawn out with markers, but that's his that's his that's his real fuzz there. His real hair. So we got an action card coming up there. But uh before that we got John Ellis, the very large uh catchers. Is that catchers or first baseman's mat? That looks like catcher's mat. No, he played both. Catcher first baseman, so that could be both. And right behind him we got John Ellis in action. So we got two John Ellis cards from 72. And the last card from City 2 is Enzo Hernandez. So, not horrible, not great. I was expecting, you know, a little bit more of a mix of random stuff in there. Instead, it looks like it was actually one mystery pack. So, again, this has been sitting on my shelf for a while. I kind of forgot what was in here. But um, it looks like, you know, it's cards ranging from 59 all the way up to, you know, what was that, 79? 59 to 79? But we got a you know decent Bobby Bonds card from seventy. We got a Juan Marichal All Star card from nineteen seventy. We got a sixty eight tops you know strikeout leaders cards worth something and a nice nice fifty nine tops Bob Rush in great shape. And we got a couple of seventy five you know 
cards, Bill Buckner and uh, an AL Championships card with uh, the A's and Orioles. So not terrible, not great. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, was this a win at, I don't know, picture 30 to $40? I really can't remember what I spent on it. But uh, do you think the value was there? Would you pick up a mystery pack of this uh, on your own? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And please be sure to like and subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. We're on our way to 1,000 subscribers. When we hit, we're going to have some pretty awesome giveaways. So make sure you stick around for that. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you next time.